Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can reconcile in your Zero bank account feed, any refunds that you pay to your customers. And the process that I show you is good for both full refunds and part refunds. Now I use the Australian version of Zero's demo company in this video, but the process is the same all around the world. So you can use this video no matter which country you're from. Also, if you'd like to learn more about Zero, then check out the links to our courses in the description below. Okay, so a couple of things before we jump into Zero. When a customer invoice is paid, you may need to issue a full or part refund to that customer. Now, the best way to do this is to create a credit note in Zero and then reconcile it to the bank transaction. But the process is not as straightforward as reconciling the customer payment to the invoice. And that's because Zero's automatic matching doesn't work as well for credit notes. So let's jump into Zero now and see how you can get your credit note matched up to your payment. Okay, so over here in the Australian demo company, what I'm gonna do is just go into invoices and I'll go to the paid invoices. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to use this Kinnett and Jones invoice here. Okay, so this is an invoice um, that's been generated to the customer Kinnett and Jones for a bit of project management by the look of it. And it's for $1,155 including GST and the payment was made in full. You can see there on the 11th of September. So what happens if we need to issue a full refund to this customer? So what we need to do is first of all, we need to send them the money. So I'll just go over into this other screen where I've got bank accounts and I'll just click on here. Okay, so what I've done is I've just uploaded this transaction here, which is the payment that we've made back to Kinnett and Jones for 1,155, which was the total amount of the invoice. So you won't have this in your demo company if you're following along. I just manually uploaded this just to um, act as the money that we've actually spent and sent back to the customer. So as it stands, we've paid them back, but we don't actually have anything in zero to match the transaction against. So we're not gonna match it against the invoice because you can't, that invoice is fully paid and it's sort of locked for matching if you like. So what we need to do is create a credit note and then match it to the credit note. So if I come over here and I'll just duplicate the screen and we'll just go into invoices and then we'll go to new credit note. Okay, so we'll just create a new credit note here. So I'll just type in that just to get the customer up. So I'm going to just use the date that I've got today um, there, but if you wanted to create the credit note on or before the date that you actually made the payment over here, so the 10th of November or 9th of November, or whatever, you can do that, but I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. So it's automatically given me a credit note number. There's also a reference over here. So if you wanted to, you could actually put that in there and just use that invoice number as the reference. And then we've got our branding, we'll just leave that. So down here, I'll just type a little description in. Okay, so I've just said refund for invoice ORC 1000, which is the um, reference number of that original invoice. And then we'll just put in the rest of the details. So we've got the quantity and unit price, which is that. It's 10 um, for the quantity and 105 for the unit price which if I come back over here matches up to that. And then the other thing we want is just um, the general ledger account. And it's also got a region there as well. So it's just the sales account and then region is the east side. So I'll just come over here, choose that sales account and the region. So basically I'm just making all the details match up. So that's the wrong total. Um, so I just need to change that to tax exclusive. So it's 1,050 plus $105 GST equals 1,155, which matches all that down there. Okay, so that's good. We can just approve that. All right, so now we've got that in our system. So 
If we come back over here, in fact, if we come back over here to the bank reconciliation, and I'll just click on that. Okay, so I've just refreshed the bank reconciliation um, tab here in the feed, and you can see that it hasn't automatically matched up the credit note with this money that's been spent. So even though it's got the same customer name and the same amount there as it's got on the credit note, it hasn't actually recognized it and it hasn't matched it. So then if we go into match and we actually uh, try searching for it, so I'll just put in KI. Okay, so there's nothing in there for um, Kinet. So I've just tried searching um, for Kinet like that. So you can see it's not actually really matching it up. So what you need to do is come back over to your credit note and you need to put the details in here of the payment. So let's just click on this again, just to tidy up the screen a bit. So we've got 10th of November. So we'll come back over here. We've got the amount down there, that's fine. We've got 10th of November. It's just giving me a little warning here saying my credit note date is the 18th, but the payment was actually made on the 10th. That's fine. And then paid from, you just need to choose the right bank account. So in the demo company, there's this savings account as well, but it's not that one. It's this one here. And you can put a reference in there um, if you've got one or if you want to, um, I'm not going to worry about it and just click on add refund. Okay. So that's now come over into here into paid. So there's the credit note there and it says that it's paid. So all we need to do now is reconcile it. If we come back over here, refresh again. Okay, so now it's matched up. So because now it's got um, the date to match up and it's got the name and it's got the amount all to match up because of what we put in down the bottom of that last screen, it's actually gone ahead and automatically matched it. So we can click on OK. And that's reconciled. Okay, so really it's just, if I go back in, it's just that extra step you've got to do down the bottom here um, where you had that little uh, make a payment section. That's the key. And once you do that, provided you put in the right date, you've got to make sure you get the right date in here, which was the 10th of November, then it should go ahead and match it up for you. Okay, so that's how you can issue a full refund. You can also do the same thing for a part refund um, for an invoice that was already paid in zero by using a credit note.